everybody, it's me, Miss Foot Fixer. Hi. Yeah. So we have this lovely, beautiful patient that's very beautiful, very beautiful, who came in with really, really nice shoes. Yeah. I want to show you shoes. Both very pretty, nice shoes. Was, were they pretty shoes? Yeah. Uh, Stephanie agrees too. She loves shoes. And and I, I have no clue how she fit in her foot into that shoes, but when she took off her shoes, it was this beautiful toenail. It's so beautiful. It's so long. And the diagnosis is damage of the nail, probably a little bit of rant on nails and potentially an infection in the nail too. So what we're going to do today is we are going to cut it and then we're going to file it and then we're going to send on the sample and then figure out what it is. So obviously there's some nice white blue nail polish on there, uh, which is great. Uh, okay, so how would I cut this? I think maybe from here on this edge here. Just usually if you pick one location it comes up very very easily. Maybe not. Let's see I think maybe over here then it's quite lifted. There we go. Maybe you come over here look at the base of this one. It's quite like a ram horn kind of nail it just comes off in bits and you can see that it's already bent my nipple it's been so so tough so tough yeah oh, oh yeah it's like i'm doing a poo <laughs> <laughs> it's like i'm doing yes i make noises we all make noises when we go to the toilet and so it's lovely bits and chunks are coming It's not too painful, right? No, okay. she said no. So, but when you know what to do, it's very, very easy to cut it because you know where to cut and what pressure to do. And, and sometimes pushing down the nail helps because it makes whoopsie, there you go. The nail plate less flimsy than what's on. Sometimes when you have round horn nails, it can come back negative uh, and we can see that there's some nail bit damage. So we need to have a discussion about that. So let's just file the nail back. We're just going to use a very thin nail drill first just to clean everything up. You can see that the nail plate was in, embedded into the skin at the tip of the toe. You can see that it was so I'm going to do just cut that. We're going to our decision. So this is the first appointment where we take a sample, but our ultimate decision will probably be a surgical removal of this nail. Because it's so damaged. So during the first consultation we always have a discussion, try to cut things back, do some tests, and then we have a discussion about what, what we do in the in the in the future. Mm. Well, 
also we can examine how, what the extent of the damage is. So it's a little bit of kind of dry blood, splinter hemorrhage down in the base. But that's just all trauma, all the way up the base down there. You can't remove that, because it's on the nail bed. See that, that's in the skin. So that's all nice and clean. I've collected the sample. So we'll do a follow up video for surgical procedure for this nail. So you can see that there's extensive damage in the nail bed uh, and there's, there's a bump in the nail bed so it's not even. So that's why the nail plate is not attaching. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful new year.